You cannot start your day without the workers prayer. Monday to Saturday 5:30 a.m. Subscribe to our YouTube channel. Universal Church Trinidad and Tobago. I was struggling. I didn't believe that I was good enough that I could really obtain that dream of having a doctorate of education. I didn't believe that I could be successful. My family struggled with addiction. I was a, a Hurricane Sandy victim. And I had problem after problem after problem, obstacle after obstacle. So I was stuck, I was hindered, I was bound for 11 years in so many areas of my life. Well, within three months of learning about the Universal Church from a television program, coming, applying the principle, the chain of prayer, the challenge of faith, I can tell you that my life has changed. For one, that doctorate of education, that dream, that desire I had came to pass. And that was a wonderful miracle. My family is coming together. I had a family member that struggled with addiction and, and drugs and, and in and out of jail. And I have to tell you today, we see a breakthrough in that area. Much more stable and on the road to recovery. And I'm excited in that my family attends church together. I'm excited in believing and knowing that it is possible to have change and miracles happen in life. Even despite all of those things that I couldn't do, so many doubts, so many insecurities, I can tell you that today my life has changed. Why? Because I listen to the teachings of the pastor. I listen and apply those principles, the chain of prayer, persisting in faith and seeking God and taking on that challenge of faith. And I can tell you that my life has changed and so can yours. All workers are people who are on the ground. On call or sometimes have to put their lives at risk from the start of the day until late at night, trying to solve problems to put others' mind at ease. In unpredictable situations, wherever they are, to try to make the economy go forward. This is why we bring to you the Workers' Prayer. Rise and shine, be blessed. Together we are strong. Today is Monday, the first working day of this month of August. And today is the day that we are going to have a pact with God. We are going to be making a pact with the Word of God. For it is written, and what is written will certainly come to pass in the life of those who believe. And there is a promise which God has prepared for you this day. And this promise will come to pass in your life because it is written. And God's Word cannot return to Him empty. Do you believe that? So, get ready to receive the promise, God's promise for this day. Promise of the day. For the word of God says, For our God is a consuming fire. Hebrews chapter 12 verse 29. This is God's promise for all of us. Our God is a consuming fire. So today, the fire of God will descend from heaven, will consume misery, failure, losses, unemployment, debts, frustrations, deceptions, everything that has been an obstacle to your finances, to your business, to your career, to your project, everything that has been impeding you to see progress. Our God is a consuming fire and He is going to send His fire down from heaven and he is going to consume everything that has been causing you delays. This is the reason why I want to invite you to be with us today. Yes, today 6 o'clock in the morning, 10 o'clock in the morning, 12 o'clock midday, 3 o'clock in the afternoon, especially 5 p.m. 
in our strong nation gathering of faith or half past six in the evening because we are going to be calling upon this God who is a consuming fire, the creator of the heavens and the earth, that he may send his fire and remove from around you everything that has been preventing you from being successful. Everything that has been impeding you from seeing what you want to see. Everything that has been an obstacle to you. Everything that has been an impediment to you. Everything that has been a challenge. Yes, it's something that is holding you back. Something that is not allowing you to move forward. We are going to ask God to send His fire. In the strong nation gathering of faith today, most especially 5 p.m. in our national headquarters, number 40 South Key, Port of Spain. You cannot miss it because being a consuming fire, there is no problem that can withstand him. There is nothing at all that can block you once this fire comes down upon your life, upon your ways. You are going to see progress, development, changes, success for whatsoever was blocking you will block you no more. Once we have said so, we have come to our moment of prayer, the worker's prayer. This is our moment of prayer. My God and Father, in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, I call upon your name right now. Because it is written, you are a consuming fire. And this Monday, 3rd of August, the first working day of this month of August, I want to call on you and ask you to send your fire to consume right now all misery poverty losses failures frustrations deceptions debts obstacles blockages barriers setbacks and every form of darkness and evil that has been preventing your people from being successful that which is impeding your people to receive their promotion to receive their salary increase that which is preventing your people from signing that agreement from opening the business my god whatsoever obstacle there may be your word says that our god is a consuming fire so come down of Father, upon the life of this person, the ways of this person who now prays with us, and consume everything that has to be consumed, so that the ways for this person may be open. I also pray for our nation, Trinidad and Tobago, for those who are praying with us from abroad. May your fire descend from heaven. May your power descend from heaven and may ways be open, may doors be open, may my father your people have the breakthrough they are in need of, so with a blessing I determine those who now pray with us blessed all the workers, all the business owners the entrepreneurs, my father I pray for the private and the public sector as I do every single day and I ask you oh God, work wonders in the life of those who believe and those who agree, say, Amen. You are blessed in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. God is with you. Today is the second day of our fasting of Daniel. Do not forget, nothing is more precious. No one is more precious than the Spirit of God. Every single day, every single day, for the next 20 days, as today is the second day, or better saying, the next 19 days, we are going to be seeking the presence of God. We are going to be dedicating ourselves to get closer to God. So even today in the strong nation, we have reserved already a moment for us to seek the Spirit of God. You want to be renewed, you want to be empowered, you want to be revived. I invite you to be with us. Because besides the prosperity and the success that God has to offer you, He wants to give you much more. He wants to give you His presence. He wants to give you His Spirit. He wants to make your life whole. Inner and outer. Inside and outside. Complete. Nothing missing. Is that what you want? The Holy Spirit is the one you need. So today, the second day of the fasting of Daniel, we are going to be seeking the Spirit of God in all the universal churches of the kingdom of God nationwide, Trinidad and Tobago. Join us 
because the Holy Spirit will transform your life. Arise and shine. Be blessed. Together, we are strong. You cannot start your day without the worker's prayer. Monday to Saturday, 5.30 a.m. Subscribe to our YouTube channel, Universal Church Trinidad and Tobago.